she ate. Hi guys, it's Thursday here on SNMA. You guys, look who's back with me today. Jeffrey Boyer Chapman. Seven years of friendship <laughs> and finally got my last name. Okay. I know the really important things about you, okay? Name one. They're private. Han Solo, I'm on a diet, but my boss always offers me junk foods throughout the day. How do I turn his offers down while still being his star worker? I think you just tell him that you have an allergy to sugar. Jeffrey? Sabotage. You trying to fuck your wife too? Seriously. You can't unfuck my wife! And I don't remember what movie that's from, but I, I love that quote. Uh, Michael Filosa, I want to be an actor. Is acting school necessary? Jeffrey? Acting school. Acting school is completely unnecessary, I think. I feel like after I started going to acting school, after the, my first couple of films, um, I just started second-guessing everything that I was doing, all of my natural instincts, and mm -hmm. um, it kind of, you know, it, it, was, uh, it took a long time to unlearn everything that they had, that I paid thousands of dollars to learn. You have so. to unlearn what you have learned. What movie? What movie is that? Jeffrey, I'll give you a hint. That dude right before this one was Han Solo. <laughs> Star Wars. Thank you. Talazar Heiss, Hess, I'm sorry. I'm fat. Can I ask someone out who isn't or is prettier than me? Jeffrey? I need to know what you have to say for me. <laughs> Look, if you're a six, you only ask out sixes or less. That's how it works. Everyone knows it. <laughs> There's the asshole I know. <laughs> My answer to that is uh, I think there's something really attractive about uh, somebody who has the confidence just to, just to, to, to go up and ask somebody out, to be, to be that bold and to be that brave. Um, to have that courage, I find it just incredibly sexy, incredibly attractive. So, so yeah, I mean, I think that you, it's free reign, baby. There's no rules. There's no, there's no rules in this game. I feel like if you're attracted to somebody, if you, if you have the balls to, to let them know so, then, then do it. You might be surprised at what the, what their response might be. Don't you love him? John Ward, I have many friends who are all about the healthy food. I try to always be supportive of healthy life decisions, but at what point does bacon bashing deserve a sarcastic, guess what I'm eating and it's so good comment? Is pushing your diet on me any different than religion or politics? Jeffrey. Ooh. Jeffrey's a vegan. I'm a part-time vegan. He's like two-thirds vegan. Um, I'm never one to push my diet or my beliefs on anybody personally. My family are all hunters. Um, they're all white, obviously. Um, <laughs> what are you so saying? I, we all hunt shit? We kind of do, don't we? You do. Okay, I, I don't think I've ever met a black hunter. <laughs> That's a TV show right there. Scientology would say that they're being suppressive to you. I mean, really, I know plenty of vegetarians who won't give up bacon. So I think, if anything, they can cut you a little slack on the bacon. Right, Jeffrey? This shit's good. Right, Emma. See? <laughs> Princess X Cassidy. My brother is five years older than me, and he often says cruel things about my weight. How do I get him to realize that this isn't a joke? Jeffrey. What can I say to that? I'd um, stab him in his thigh with a fork, personally. That'll get him to stop. Guys, okay, that was a super fun SNMA Thursday. I, I hope you had a really good time. I know I did. Thank you so much once again for this, this guy. Stay gay!